Hi, I'm Drew Blair. I'm from Elizabethtown, Kentucky. I've uh, been in San Diego, California for five years now. I went to college at Moorhead State University School of Art and Design in Moorhead, Kentucky. Stayed in state because uh, they had a really good graphic design program and I wanted to work with their professors. But um, found out after a couple of years of staying in Kentucky to stay true to who I am, I had to leave Kentucky. Um, Kentucky couldn't hear me. They actually didn't even allow me to speak. I did my entire college career on homoeroticism in my life, and when it came time to showing, it was denied showing because it was too homoerotic. So I realized either Kentucky just didn't want the art, or I needed to be elsewhere to be heard. So I decided I would find a way out to California. My art is based on my inspiration of different artists from a previous generation. Um, I'm recently most inspired by the street artist of the 1980s, specifically Keith Haring, Basquiat, Hamilton, um, Mr. Brainwash. I like how they use black light. They use these elements that were hidden elements that you didn't always see unless you were in an environment that they chose to shoot black light. And it adds a whole extra level of artistic depth. It speaks to you on a different level. This piece was gifted to me at the start of the year. It's an original chalk drawing by Keith that was gifted to one of his best friends who became one of my best friends uh, recently. And right here you'll see George Orwell depicted uh, with the 1984 on his chest as a robot speaking to what we consider Keith Jr. Uh, I also produced a Keith Jr. robot that you'll be seeing. Um, but this piece was done in 1988, the year I was born. It inspired me to think beyond uh, what we see on the surface. The Phoenix, this piece here, this is my suggestion for children or anyone to experiment with blacklight UV reactive materials. It is art therapy, to say the least. It gives me zen, standing back and looking at a finished piece. It actually glows the room in the color that you painted. So as we know, color creates different moods and emotions. Put them all together. It's a happy energy. So I produced this piece, The Phoenix, for children. I want to inspire them to do robotics and think outside the box, go triangle. So with this piece, you actually get two, because with a phoenix, you have to have a previous to create the new. So. This is my current take on blacklight pop art. Art is about collaboration and working together. And the only way that we can inspire is to work on a global scale. And I'm looking to work with companies like GE that do solar and actually produce big robotic installation sculptures that inspire the next generation to get involved and save our planet so we're not wasting fossil fuels. And the children are gonna be so inspired by just doing robotics, thinking color, thinking outside the box. That's what I wanna inspire. I invite you to look deeper into this exhibition by joining us online, where you can flip through the exhibition catalog and purchase the artwork from our online gallery. We look forward to showcasing Proud Plus in our Hillcrest Art Gallery through the month of July.